Hi guys, so in this video, uh, I'm going to be showing you how you can import really cool um, overlays into Lightstream for your Xbox and PlayStation Direct to Twitch stream. So you can have really cool overlays, really cool notifications, um, because you probably already discovered that within Lightstream, although it's a fantastic product and does an amazing job, they don't give you that many um, templates to play around with. Um, they've, they've even got some nice mixer ones in there. You can find those if you want to go old school. The people who've got really cool elements, though, um, are Stream Elements, <laughs> funnily enough, and it's free. So go over to StreamElements.com. I'll put all the links in the description down below. You link it with your, your Twitch account, and then you go to the dashboard, and this is where the magic begins. And I'm going to show you how to make them work as well. If you've, if you've done this already and you've had a bit of trouble with them working, you know, lining up, I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you want to do is you want to go into the themes gallery um, and then you want to check out the super themes. Now for the purposes of, the, purposes of this video, we're going to go down and we're going to go to a... Lots of these are based on games, so the, the advantage of that is that when, it's, when, the, when the templates, when the overlays are on your stream, they won't cover up interesting things that your viewers might be interested in looking at. So let's go down and Green Goblin, here we are, Green Goblin super theme. So let's uh, create that one and let's give it a name. So we're going to call it Daisy Green Theme. There we go. Create my overlay. And this will create, uh, it gives you a load of URLs. Don't worry about them yet. We're just going to see theme in my overlays. So this kind of theme pack comes um, with uh, five. Um, overlays if you like there's one in game one there's a camera one there's the start scene there's the be right back and then there's the end scene now as far as cameras go in these overlays we don't for, for, as far as i'm aware you can't control the position of the camera using the uh, using some, something like lightstream or stream elements um, so you probably wouldn't use those templates and in fact where, where you see where they've added a, a uh, an element for a webcam in a overlay you will probably delete that bit or hide it because the uh, the addition of the uh, the P the PlayStation camera or an Xbox USB camera that's controlled by the by the console where that position is you know you go into the software and you move it around don't you you can't really do that um you can't do that with the, these overlays but there's so much we can do so um, what we're going to now do is we're just going to go back to Lightstream and we're going to create a new project. So we create new project and it's going to be a gamer project. So we click on that and we're going to name it. So we click up here and we're going to call it Daisy, Daisy Green Theme Test. Um, and we're going to do it at 1080p 30 frames a second. If, if those options don't appear but you've taken out the seven day trial for that or you've um you've you've paid the subscription for that just refresh your browser and they should, should should appear so we'll submit that actually there's one other thing as well down here it says auto live project what that means is this will be the project that uh, automatically is applied to your streams when you stream from your xbox or your playstation to twitch so you don't have to have your pc on to tell it to start it will just 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 do that so we'll we'll, we'll do it as that one so we say submit and then we, we, we've got nothing yet. There's nothing here. So the, the first thing you probably always want to add, though, you just want to add the game source. It's always good practice to add the game source because it's there um, and you won't forget to put it in. Because <laughs> if you do, if you switch to that particular um, uh, overlay while you're, while you're streaming, your, your voice will disappear. And, and if it's got video, the video will disappear. So we go back to Stream Elements. And uh, what we can do now is just say, well, let, let's do the starting soon one. So we want to go in and we want to edit this. So you click on edit like so. And what you want to do is you want to zoom in and we can customize all all of these aspects of, of this, this, this theme. Um, and, you know, spend some time this is a web based editor so it's a bit slow it's a bit clunky but basically what you tend to do is you go around and you you click on um something you want to change and then you click on settings and then you can change the thing you want to change 
so twitch is uh, scale speed there we go Oop. and then we save that and then you could go around changing the stuff now the other thing you can do as well is you can hide stuff as well so it could be say I don't know Facebook you you want to hide that because you haven't got the Facebook uh, what's that one you don't use Facebook so let's go into settings for that one so let's just get rid of that let's see what that is let's get rid of that so you see how easy it is to customize customize these things and any of the elements if we fit to screen again if anything we wanted to to make disappear like tip goal um, let's have a look see if we can find that one we can make the tip goal disappear like that um, and then you could you could make the uh, the panel disappear for it as well so it's fully customizable so play around with it get it how you want it don't, don't worry too much but then what you want to do is you, you save it and then you get your overlay URL so you click on that chain link there that will copy to your clipboard we go back to our uh, our light stream project and this is where it's a little bit fiddly this sometimes but the stream elements um, overlays will be 1080p all right so what you need to do if you're doing it 1080p you add uh, third-party integrations this guy sorry it goes for 720 as well but we're working at 1080p I just want to show, show how this works go into stream elements and this is where you have to be careful because what we need to do is we need to resize the working area that this stream elements overlay is going to go into but we also need to make sure the scale is the same so what you can kind of do is there's a couple of ways of doing it but if you kind of stretch the canvas and then we need to make sure that the area is is 1080p which is 1920 by 1080 okay so we need to make sure that's the same but we also need to make sure the scale is the same as well so go into both of those and make sure they're the same the scale and the size otherwise it won't fit properly so at this point we can then paste that in and what you should find there we go so so that is now our first screen that's pretty cool isn't it now if you go back to stream elements what you can do is you can now emulate stuff as well to check see how it works so you can click on emulate a follower event and <laughs> it appears so you can see what it looks like um, and it, it's you, you can go in and you can change what these things do so you can get it to talk when it says stuff so it could you know it, they do text the speech so that's the first one so let's say we then wanted to do the next one so we click back there and then let's go down here so the next one is going to be the game in game scene isn't it this one here so we click on edit so all of that's doing that let's go back to um, Lightstream, and we, we're gonna create another overlay so the first thing we always add is our game source so that's there that's there already so here we go so green goblin so so this is all there so it's all clear at the back because that's where our game is going to be now the thing we might want to change is that there let's have a look So we would go in and change all our YouTube text, all that sort of stuff. Cam frame. So we probably just want we want to make that disappear, don't we? Actually, it's, it's underneath there, isn't it? Let's just move that out of the way. So that's where the camera would be. So we can make them disappear because we're not going to be using a camera. In fact, then we would probably want that to disappear as well. Actually, it's taken my name, isn't it? So we'll, we'll leave that there for, for the for the time being, and we just want to save that. And then all we need to do now is we click Copy Overlay URL. We go back to here. We add in third-party integrations. We go down to Stream Elements again, 
and again before we before we paste it in we want to make sure that that the working area is correct so stretch to canvas and then we want to make this 1920 by 1080 and then you just want to click on scale and make sure that's the same okay so once we're happy they're the same we can then paste the URL into here and there it is so our game will appear behind there and that's how easy it is <laughs> The, the the bit that takes the time is obviously going in and editing the um the template in stream elements to get it exactly how you want to but you know there's loads of youtube videos out there that shows show you how to do this but there's probably not that many how to show you how to do it when relating it to um relating it to 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 uh, lightstream um, but that's what you do so you would do that and then you would do the next one so let's just go back here So the next one we would probably would do would be the be right back one, um, and then the next one would be the stream ended one, um, and you would go in and you would just create more scenes, um, and just remember to, to to add the game source first, and then make sure you adjust the size of the working area, make sure that the the, uh, the size and the the, the, um, the the those two figures are the same, um, and then paste your URL in and then you're good to go and remember you can you can move these around as well the order that they show up in as well so there's a different starting scene um, to all that sort of stuff um, and it really is incredibly easy and um, incredibly powerful and incredibly versatile so there we go so hopefully that video is useful showing you how you can customize Lightstream with stream elements templates now this one just one more thing this one i've chosen here is a static theme they do moving themes or it's video in the background but my um capture software struggles with that sort of stuff it it, it, it slows everything down and won't capture it properly so that's why i've done it that way so dive in give it a go make your youtube you sorry make your twitch streams from your xbox and your playstation they're gonna look as good as any professional streamer Anyway, that's enough from me. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.